man named Walt, who's a real woodman. So when he looks at a tree, he knows the color of the wood inside. He knows how that tree grows, whether the trees had bugs or some other harm, what the grain would look like and feel like and smell like. Trees say something different to him than they say to me. These sort of receptor channels, Hopkins calls pitch. It's like the angle of a roof or the place of one note in some musical scale that goes on forever. But the note needs an instrument to sound. If the note is just an idea, even an idea on paper, it isn't its real self yet. Walt's capacity for loving trees would have been different if he'd been born in some little Pacific island or in the Sahara Desert. In order to make a self, the possibility must be put into action in some body, in some place, in some time. It also needs a nature, like a note that needs a violin or a flute or a guitar. Unless it does something, the possibility is not really a self. Hopkins is following Thomas Aquinas here. A soul includes your nature as a human. It forms your nature. It gives your pitch a way to exist in the world. Mm -hmm.